In this video, we're going to be using Seaforth Sea Ice Lime and the Tatara Miramasa Razor. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your host, CDB, and thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. As always, before we get into the content, a word from our sponsor, Leaf. This video is brought to you by our good friends at Leaf, and you know I love Leaf products. I love using the Leaf, which you've seen me use many, many times on the channel. I also love using the Twig. You've seen that a lot on the channel as well. If you'd like to save 5%, use discount code IMCDB right there and save 5% while shopping with the good folks at Leaf. And now, back to the video. And all right, folks, we are back. Welcome in, welcome in. We have a great one for you today because we are using Seaforth C Ice Lime. And I got this for $39 and there's at least seven ounces in here. On the price range, that's about $5.57 an ounce, which is in the pricing range. But you have to consider you're getting the super cool mug with it. And this one is a little bit different than C Spice Lime. This has the synthetic cooling agent in it. I'm going to put the scent description for you on the screen right there. It is phenomenal. This is the best lime scent of all time, in my opinion. If you love lime, you must have this. This is must have. I absolutely love it. Scent strength, medium high. The base is really nice. It got a great lather with it, which you'll see here in a moment. I'll put the ingredients on the screen for you right there. I'm telling you, I am excited about this because I just love Seaforth Sea Spice. And now, uh, presumably, I will love Sea Ice Lime in this really cool container. And I believe this is sold out, but maybe he will make more. So if you'd like to see more of this, please comment below and uh, let Dennis from Spearhead know, hey, we want that Sea Ice Lime as well. And maybe he'll make some more. I don't know if he will. I'm not speaking for him, but I'm saying, you know, give your feedback on this because that is great. I know I'm going to love this shave. <laughs> I know I'm going to love it. I'm using today also the Tatara Miramasa, which, uh, which is a very, very good adjustable razor. This uh, razor, as far as I know, is the only razor that adjusts both the blade gap and the blade exposure at the same time. Very pricey now. Uh, I think the price may have went up. I'm not completely sure, but it's now listed as 600 and, or excuse me, not 600. Sorry about that, Tatara. $362.23 without the stand. I didn't pay that for this. I traded for it, but that is a lot of scratch, but it is a beautiful razor. The fit and finish on this is second to none. It is absolute perfection, and it is a really good razor. I find for me on settings one and two, I don't really care for settings one and two, but three, four, and five were very good, and today we'll start on three and then maybe move it up to five. It's all stainless, made in Portugal, and it is a very good razor, no doubt. However, it's very, very expensive, and looks like maybe the price has increased as well. I, I want to think before it was like 340 something. I could be wrong on that, so don't hold me to it. All right, let's get into it. I can't wait to use this <laughs> soap today. All right, we'll start by misting the face, and I remind you, as always, the links for all the products that are available will be below. Almost every day, I'll get a comment where somebody will say, where do you get this or that? They're always below, folks. Please look. I don't want to be wasting my time putting all those links in there, so please look below. All right. The brush for today is the Maritime uh, Brush Go brush. Let's see if we can get the logo up right there, which is a great brush. Brendan over there is a really great guy, and he makes some nice brushes. And I'm going to tell you, I got a creamy lather. This uh, spearhead base is fruit. Very, very good. People don't talk about it a lot, but it's it's quite good indeed. And that is nice stuff right there. Oh man, it smells great. If you're only getting lime from this soap, then you're not smelling what I'm smelling because to me, this is a, a lime-based soap with dimensions to it. You get a salty vibe. You definitely get that sea spray. Um, it is exceptional, in my opinion. Not only is it probably the best lime scent of all time, in my opinion, it is also... I think one of the best scents period of all time. It's not overly complex, but there are dimensions to it. It's not just a just lime, which I love. Don't get me wrong. I love just single flat old lime, but this one is not that. However, some people sort of described it that way, and I'm like, well, you're not smelling what I'm smelling, and that's entirely possible. Not everyone can discern all the notes in a soap. Um, you know, we smell differently, so it's possible that. You might get basic scent out of this, but this is not basic at all. It has multiple dimensions, and that's why I think it's my favorite lime of all time. The best easily for me. All right, let's uh, cut this back just a little bit, and we'll get to shaving. And we know the performance on this is going to be good because I've used plenty of Spearhead um, shaving soaps. Now, this one is branded Seaforth, the old vintage brand, but Spearhead makes it. 
And let's let's get underway here today. Starting on three on the Tatar Miramasa, and that is beautiful. And man, the scent is just filling the restroom here, and it's just phenomenal. Wow. Now this one has the uh, the soap, I should say, has the synthetic cooling agent. And for me, I don't always get cooling right away. Sometimes I get tingling. However, in the Murphy and McNeil, when they've used this, their soaps, I've got the cooling. So I'm hoping I'll get the cooling and not the tingling. We'll see. Um, you never know what you're going to get. But so far, just a little bit. I, I think I'm feeling some minor cooling. I can't really tell if it's just the soap being cold on my face, you know, with the, with the, uh, with the water where I'm getting a little cooling, but I think I may be getting a, just a hair of cooling, but sometimes that builds as you go in the shave. But I don't expect this to be a, a soap that, you know, freezes you. So don't, don't think it's gonna be too cold. I don't think, but we'll see. You have to actually do the shave and see how it, see how it works over the three passes. Got a lot, cause a lot of times the cooling builds but the Tatar here, I gotta say, it, it's a really good razor. Now for me, and this is just um, personal preference, if you prefer mild razors, you're probably gonna like this razor on all settings, one through five. If you prefer more efficiency and some blade feel, one and two don't provide much. Um, so you might um, get this razor if you prefer mild and really dig it and go, hey, this it's great on every single setting, which is what you want from an adjustable razor. You want it to be enjoyable on every single setting. But for me, one and two is out. It's just, there's no point in me using those because I just don't enjoy it. It does work, however. You know, they, it shaves. But uh, I prefer it on three, four, and five. But the build on this is just phenomenal. It's just when you take it apart, you look at the pieces and you look for, you won't find a mark on it. It's phenomenal. It is pricey though. No way to get around that. But fortunately, I traded for this one. I didn't pay the 360 some dollars for it. Would I pay that much for it? I don't know, honestly. Um, I'm leaning towards probably not because <clears throat> because not all settings being useful for me. If every single setting was useful, I might buy it as a treat myself razor or once in a while thing, but I, honestly, I'm not inclined to pay that much for 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 razors on a regular basis um, because it's just, it's a lot of money. But you, I cannot deny that it's a really finely crafted razor. There's just no doubt about it. All right. That was very nice. And I, I do think I was getting a little bit of cooling there. So that is good. And I tell you what, no quality problems whatsoever on the soap. Didn't expect any. Seaforth makes good soaps. We used a lot of their soaps when they were sort of in the beta or testing phase. They were very inexpensive at that time, which was cool. Uh, and they were all good quality as well. So I've had good luck with Seaforth. All the Seaforth branded uh, scents I've liked. And the scents on this one, I forgot to mention, was made by Sean Marr of Marr Olf Olfactive, I think. Um, I said before Chantillon looks, and then somebody said, ah, it's not the same. We know the Sean Marr we're talking about here. <laughs> this is a phenomenal scent. Absolutely top rate. I love it. All right, very good indeed, very good indeed. All right, let's uh, move this one on up to five. Let's get down to business here. One thing I would say about the numbers there, not very easy to read on this one, especially, you know, if you have 50 some plus year old eyes, uh, a little hard to read. So that would be a little bit of a knock on this razor. I can see it, but once if you get water drip it down in that little hole, it's really hard to see. So if they were ever to make another version of this razor, I'd say find some way to highlight that or make it bigger. But otherwise, the build of the razor is just phenomenal. It is fantastic. And now I am definitely getting a little bit of that cooling, which quite, quite frankly is very pleasant. It's not the tingling, so I think, I don't know for sure, but there might be a difference in the cooling agent that people use, because this one I'm getting proper cooling from, but on a few of them, I've got a, this tingly, prickly sort of feeling. And DK has gotten the same thing from DK. Uh, well, you've seen me link his channel many times. But great guy. He sort of gets the same thing. But on this one, I'm getting cooling. And on Murphy and McNeil's, I'm getting cooling. So I'm glad it worked out that way on this one. Let's go ahead and re-lather. 
that side real quick here. Just get another quick against the grain pass here while I'm over here. I know I, I'm doing it in an unconventional way when I go ahead and hit the same side over again, but just saving a little time because I know you guys don't have all day. Uh, I, I know some of you watched the old throwback video from yesterday and I'll be airing more of those every <laughs> every other day or so and there'll be some fun in those videos because uh, you know some people can't even believe it's me you know some people have watched that channel for years the old eyeliner channel and and they happened upon this channel and they didn't know it was me <laughs> so there was a bit of a change there and by the way the 23rd of uh, March Chris Garcia mentioned this. The 23rd of March was my head shave, my fifth head shaving anniversary. I should have done a head shave, but honestly, I, I didn't have time. <laughs> so, we're in year, well, we're in year six now of head shaving, entering year six, that is. And I couldn't have made a better decision. Also, while I'm mentioning people, I want to thank uh, Robert Kamara, Bobby C., the Quaker. Uh, he's the one that told me this was coming out, otherwise I would have missed it because I have not had much time to scroll around social media. I've had very little time, so thank you, uh, Bobby C., the Quaker, for letting me know about this soap, because otherwise I wouldn't have known. And you know, I have to have this, like this is fantastic. I'm getting that cooling now, it's perfection. And I'm telling you what, for those of you, for those artisans out there, who charge a reasonable price for your soap. Now, if you have a four or five ounce soap and you're charging 30 bucks, I'm not talking to you. But if you charge a reasonable price for your soap, I'm challenging you, smell this, and see if you can top it as a lime scent. It is the king of lime right now. Could be unthrown, but someone's gonna have to work hard to do it. So I'm challenging all you artisans who, you know, sell your soap for a reasonable price to try to dethrone this soap. But if it's gonna be like $30 or $29.99 for four or five ounces, no, I'm not interested in that. That would only be a treat myself sort of soap, which I'm not not making a steady diet of buying, and it's you know in my opinion just too much these days. Um, other than a treat yourself situation, this was a treat myself situation. But keep in mind, we did get the mug as well, which is cool. I think it's uh, some sort of plastic or polymer. It's not um, glass, which in some ways I'm happy about because it's probably less prone to get chipped. Um, you could still break it maybe if you dropped it, but it stands a better chance of surviving. But anyway, you know, for those of you who are uh, selling things reasonably, see if you can top this scent, because this is phenomenal. It's just fantastic. And every time I use it, it brings a smile to my face, puts me in a good mood, and it, it just aligns everything. <laughs> All the stars are aligned. And the quality is first rate. So this is a great soap all around. Great scent. Wonderful. Oh, and I am definitely, what happens with this cooling is it sort of sneaks up you, on you a little bit. You don't feel much in the first pass. And then in the second, you feel a little more. And then in the third, you feel a little more. So it is quite good indeed. And I tell you, I wish I had my splash in ADT here because I would use it, but I didn't bring it with me because I was looking to use splashes that I was gonna just try to use up. And so I'm not trying to use up my sea spice. <laughs> And this is a soap that I would absolutely rebuy if I ran out, no question about it. But I'm not going to run out because I still have my sea spice, sea spice lime and now the sea ice lime. So I'm not going to run out anytime soon. But I tell you what, it is just a very impressive soap all around. I love it. I really can't say enough good things about it. It is very good indeed. All right, that is nice. Oh man, it's just one of the <laughs> things that brings a smile to your face. And who couldn't use to, you know, something to bring a smile to your face these days? So, very appreciative to have this one to start off my day. And I got a very busy day in store. I got to try to work. I got to try to take mom. Well, I'm not going to try. I got have to take my mom to her labs and appointment. I got to prepare meal. I got all kinds of stuff to do today. <laughs> so, this one I needed to get me off on the right start and get my mojo in the right direction right out of the gate. But let me tell you, it has done that. It has done that. 
And this video might be a little longer because I've sort of waxed poetic throughout the show, just yapping and yapping and yapping and I don't know. Just call it the sea ice lime effect. <laughs> just such a great soap. Such a great soap. Again, if you're a lover of lime, I would suggest that you tell uh, Dennis in the comments below, look, we need that in our lives. And believe me, you might. You might. You might need it. Well, you might want it. You never need it, but you get what I'm saying. It is fantastic. All right, let me rinse and then we'll come back and get into the post. Stay tuned. And all right, we are back and off cam we did a rinse to get rid of the soap. And then we used our PAA alum. After using the alum, there was no sting, so super smooth shave. No nicks, guts, creepers, weepers, irritation, bubbles, or troubles. Very nice shave indeed. Following the alum, we did another rinse and then we towed off with our Lancaster towel prior to using the magic made by Witches, Thayer's Witch Hazel Cucumber. We had an excellent shave today with Seaforth Sea Ice Lime. You do get the cooling, you get the same great scent. It is absolutely spectacular. The king of all limes right here, folks. Whether you're getting sea ice lime or sea spice lime, it is absolutely terrific. In my opinion, if you love lime, this is must have because it's a lime with dimensions. Absolutely love it. I also enjoyed using today the Tatara Muramasa razor. Very expensive, of course, but it is a very good razor. The fit and finish is really second to none. It is really a artfully crafted razor, in my opinion, and I enjoyed that a lot. Of course, the Nasset blade is what I have in it. We used our Maritime Brush Coat brush, which is also very, very nice indeed, and it's in our Lancaster Razorworks brush soaking mug. And we're gonna finish it out today with once again the Wet the Face, the Quiet Man complete with the floaties, and I wish I had my Sea Spice Lime Splash and EDT here, but I do not, so we'll have to settle for this today, but either way, we're gonna be having a great day today. We're off to a good start, and I hope wherever you are this fine Saturday morning, you get your day off to a great start as well. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. Till next time, I've been your host, CDV, reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way, and as always, God bless.